Hi, this video will show you how to set up a manual IP address and DNS in a 2014 model Blu-ray player. So you just have to press home and you get the customer scroll all the way to the left towards setup and then down to network settings and then you would check the network connection status. So they're connected okay but uh, they can't access their internet video stuff. Uh, so you can either write down the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway, and then you get the customer to put those numbers in. Or if they've got one of the routers that uh, Danny sent us the emails on, the SageCom or the TwoWire, you can use those IP addresses instead of the ones that you see on the screen, and you'll get the customer to enter them in here. So you just need to go to Internet Settings, Wireless Setup built in, then you need to get the customer to scroll all the way to the bottom to something called New Connection Registration. Then you choose Manual Registration and the customer's SSID will already be there. So since they were able to connect auto before, they just had problems with internet video, the, uh, the SSID, that's their network name, is already there. You don't need to change it. Just get them to arrow to the right. Then it'll choose the security that they used before, it should be WPA PS2K2, whichever one's highlighted, just leave it like that, arrow to the right. Now at the WPA screen you get them to still press the button in the middle and it's, uh, it's all blacked out so uh, it's still going to be the same key that they had before or you could get them to erase it and put the key in again just to make sure it's right and then go to enter and then you've got an arrow to the right again, select how to set the IP address, custom, do you want to set IPv6 address? No. Please select how to set up IPv4 address. Custom. IP address setting. Go to specify IP address. And now you can enter in the values either that you got from uh, checking uh, the device or the manual ones that uh, Danny sent for the SageCom and 2Wire. Sadly, the 2014 Blu-ray players do not have number buttons on them, so you're going to have to use the up and down arrows to get to the numbers. So uh, the, the highest number is 255, so you can go down, arrow to the right, one. Now I gotta go to 118, so the fastest way is up. Then press the button in the middle and go down to subnet. 255, arrow to the right, just press down as fastest, 255, then down, 2550, enter. And now we can put in those primary DNSs, eight, Dot eight, eight, dot eight, four, dot four. Enter, and now arrow to the right. Do you want to use a proxy server? No, just arrow to the right, and then arrow to the right, and save and connect. So if everything's tested OK, we're going to now press OK, and now we got to go arrow to the left and go back up to the internet video and get the customer to try the Netflix again and hopefully it'll connect this time to the internet service and bring them to the screen if they are a member and to sign in. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to set up a manual IP and DNS address on a 2014 model Sony Blu-ray player.